swap file is a file that is used as memory when the actual physical memory runs out on your server. So if you have a low memory VPS, you definitely need to create a swap file. So on a VPS, you don't have access to your disks and therefore a swap file is the next best thing. You can also create a swap disk, but of course we want to create a swap file since we are on a VPS. If you are using Contabo, you can see that you get 8 GB of RAM for that and you get 16 for that. So you can choose whichever plan you want and you see that you probably won't need the swap file. But I'm just doing this for the benefit of people who are following on a different VPS. Maybe you're using Voltra or DigitalOcean then in that case, you, you probably need to add a swap file so that you can have memory that will be used in case your server runs out of memory. Just as a caution to anybody following along that this is how it should be. This image, you see this image, this is how it should be. My website was tripping out this double hyphens. Okay, these are double hyphens. If you need to follow along, you'll need to know that. So let's just copy this. I'll just copy this only sudo swap on. So the link to this page is in the description. You don't need to type this stuff. So I will paste that in there. sudo swap on and that's hyphen hyphen show. And you can see, okay, we do have a swap file already. So you can see Ubuntu uh, on Contabo has already created a swap file for us. So this means that we do have a swap file. So we can just create another one. And I'm just creating this for the benefit of people that want to see how to create a swap file on their VPS if they don't already have one. So the first thing, this was just to see if we do have a swap file. And remember, these are two hyphens. Okay, step one, create. We're going to create the, the file that will be used for swapping. Okay, so we need to create a file and allocate a size to that file. So I'll just copy these things without any changing, without changing anything. I will just paste that in there. Enter. Okay, now this file has been created. You can do ls-la and you're going to see that in your root directory, there's a file called my swap file. Explaining it once again, that's the name of the file, okay? So you can change the name to whatever. You can call it my swap file. You can call it the new swap file. You can even call it for file py, whatever you want to call it. And this is going to allocate the size for the file. So this is going to allocate two gigabytes to this file. If you want to allocate one gigabyte, just put one gigabyte. If you want to allocate four, put four gigabytes, okay? We've created the file and allocated that. Now the next step is we need to change the permissions for the file that we've created. So I'm just going to do that. And remember that you can create it inside another folder if you want to, that's okay, okay? If you want to put it inside of another folder, that's okay. You can see here it is in the root directory. So let us change the permissions for the file. And once we change the permissions, we need to now make it a swap file. And we also need to, to turn the swap on. So this is going to make it an as this is going to make the file a swap file and this is going to turn it on. Swap on. So I'm just going to do this in one line. Copy. I will paste that and then enter. And now our swap is on. Now the swap is on, yes, but if we restart the server, it's not going to recognize the swap file. So what you need to do is we need to add it inside of this, inside of this file. And inside of this file, we're going to add that so that we can let the system know that that is a swap file that should be restarted with the system. So we're going to copy that. So any memory that we have, they're usually listed inside of this FS tab. And this is the one that usually tells the system when it restarts that these are the memories that we currently have. So let's just bring our cursor down and we need to copy this. So if you change the name of the file or you change its location, make sure that is reflected in this. So for me, I'm just copying what is already here so that I don't have to type. Paste. And then I'll do control X to exit out of nano. And then yes, I'll enter Y because I want to accept the changes. And then I will press enter to accept the changes. Now, if I restart the system, 
our swap file will be there okay and even if i do sudo swap on show remember sudo swap on show has two hyphens oh but for me let me just do sudo free h free dash h this is going to show me all the memory that is available for me to use so let's come back here sudo free dash h this is going to show us all the memory that is available and you can see our memory is that and we still have that available memory and our swap file if you remember for my server i already had 2gb of swap file and i also created another 2gb of a swap file so i have a total of 4gb of swap memory that's why you can see i have 4gb of swap memory and it is unused because it is only used when this one runs out as soon as you run out of memory they will use your swap file your applications will all be moved to your swap memory okay so that's what it's all about so in this video you've seen how you can create a swap file on ubuntu even though i used this guide that clearly states is for debian even on centos if you want to even on alma linux you can just follow this and it's going to create the swap file the same way all right so that's it for this part. In the next video, we're going to see how to install our control panel. And then once we do that, we'll see how we can work with DNS and then add websites. And we're going to see how we can add our WordPress website. We're going to see how you can change your host name on your server, on your Ubuntu server. And you can follow the same steps for Debian if you are using Debian. But I will be doing this on Ubuntu because this server is an Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So I will see you in that next video when we change the server host name.